Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira work management tutorial, we will get started with sign up for the Jira work management and then go ahead and understand a little bit more detail about the Jira work management. So first thing I'll go to Google and let's search for Jira work management. So just search for Jira work management. You will get this link here, Jira work management from Atlassian. So click on that link and it will redirect you to this Jira work management page, right? Now we have anyways covered the features of Jira work management, but you are feel free to walk through all the features that are supported. Go to this features tab and it will give you a list of all the features that are supported by Jira work management. And this is just a brief of it. It is such a good enhancement over Jira core that you will absolutely fall in love with this particular product. Now, in order to sign up for Jira work management for free, you simply click on this get it free, right? So if you click on a get it free, you simply have to basically say it will get selected automatically and then you can select a second product which is basically your confluence you can add to Jira work management. Now if you are a software development organization and you are signing up for Jira software, right? So Jira software sign up by default will have Jira work management in it. Okay. So if you are a software development organization, go ahead, go for Jira software because anyways, you will get Jira work management as part of that. But if you are just a business team and you want to your marketing team, HR team, and you want to use Jira only for the business purposes, go ahead with the Jira work management and add a second product, which is basically free up to 10 users includes a two GB storage and community support. And it's always free. So you don't have to use credit card at all. So simply go next and follow the process here. It's absolutely simple. I'm not going to cover this. If you want to check this particular process, I'll put the link of the previous sign up process for the Jira software in this video. Follow that the process will be almost similar to what is explained in my previous video for the Jira software sign up. Now, because I have signed up for the Jira software already, Jira work management is part of it. Okay. So let's go to Jira software. Now here, this is my Jira software. So once I logged in, I can now see Jira work management is available for business teams, as you can see. But as part of the products, I just have Jira software and Confluence, right? So as part of Jira software, Jira software is built on top of core anyway. So Jira work management will be there by default and you have Jira software and Jira work management is the next generation of Jira core. As I have explained in previous tutorial already that Jira work management is nothing but a next generation of Jira core, which is for the business teams, your personal projects, business team, and we'll explore. There are so many features in Jira work management that you'll absolutely be amazed what all new things they have added there. So if we simply uh, click on this show me you will see that um, you, you, you can go through all these details anyways right but let's quickly go ahead and create after the sign up process once you have followed the sign up process you will be signed up and you will be on the page of the Jira work management if you are just signing up for the Jira work management but if you are sign if you have signed up for Jira software to create a Jira work management project go to the projects and click on create project right so as soon as you will click on create project and by the way, this is Jira cloud version. Okay. This is not the server version. This is the cloud version. So in the project templates, you will see there are so many different templates, right? So depending on the, the department, you have service management, work management, marketing, HR, and all these templates are available there. And below these templates, if you see, you have the products, right? So as I have signed up for Jira software, I have Jira software. Then I have Jira service management because I chose service management along with the software and Jira work management is anyways by default available as part of the Jira software. So you can see Jira's work management is there. If you just sign up for Jira work management with Confluence, you will get Jira work management here and Confluence, right? So that's, that's what you will be having here. And if you are adding an add on product as a Jira service management, you will get Jira service management as well, right? So because we have Jira work management, if you click on this particular pro product, Jira work management here, you will see that you have all these different type of projects or templates available to track your work. So you have the project management task tracking. And if you keep scrolling down, you have document approval, content management, basically for the uh, content life cycle, uh, the document approval life cycle procurement, which is very, very, you know, important for the organizations to procure things. Then you have the new employee onboarding. This is absolute 
you know fantastic add-on like new employee onboarding is such a you know confusing or not confusing but most of the places where i have you know been onboarded it hasn't been a very nice experience but if you follow this particular process and the people are aligned around this process you can see that you have this issue type it is recommended for hr team you have this very good workflow that you can utilize in new employee onboarding and because it's jira there is transparency you will have the issues visible to the whole team where exactly the issues are how things are progressing right so these are some of the very very good templates if you scroll down you have new employee onboarding sales pipeline then you have the interview process template as well right so if we go up here new employee onboarding and then we have this recruitment right so if you go to recruitment this is another you know challenge basically when when we get applications who filters the application so usually if you have this process so somebody is filtering the applications then screening happens who is doing the screening so all of that is basically part of this workflow right the workflow is already made for you out of the box if you want to customize it absolutely you are free to go ahead and customize it you need the administrator privileges but by default jira work management has provided you all of those details out of the box right now say for example let's go ahead and choose one particular template and go ahead and see what all can you do with jira work management so to create a recruitment project say for example there is an hr team which handles the recruitment process for your hr team why not go ahead a project and all your recruitment process follows this particular process right this workflow so use this template click on use template and you need to be a administrator to create the project right so if you're just a user of the jira work management you won't be having this use template basically you won't be able to create the project okay so click on create project and i'll provide the project name so i'll say rcv recruitment okay and the key is taken by default if you want to update it you can update it here but if you do not update it at the moment so you can you know choose the descriptive prefix for your project key issue from uh, this pr project right so you you can update it prior to creating the project and you can change it right so i'll keep it default and then you know you can select what team is this for so you can select the team from this particular drop down right so this is for human resources team right so these are all different teams that are available here so we can choose the hr team here and click on create project so once you click on create project the project will get created and you will be redirected to the project board right which will be very similar to what you have seen if you have worked on the jira software the difference will be that you will see the board the process will be a bit different so it will have a different issue types and in the workflow you have screening interviewing interview de debrief discussions accepted or rejected right so this project that has been created you are on the board you have the list view summary etc and all, we'll cover all of these in details what exactly all of these menu items represent and how you can basically go ahead and use jira work management efficiently into your any of the business projects all right so that's all about the jira work management how you can sign up and create a project in jira work management so i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching